Yo, what's going on guys? So just recently to go, Seth Rollins got put in a headlock by Samoa Joe and it ended up and it ended up resulting in Seth Rollins re-injuring one of his knees and it's appearing as if the knee injury could keep him out through WrestleMania. So we're going to talk about how big of an impact this actually had on WrestleMania matches. Some people might not think of it. But you got to consider this. It was pretty cut and dry. And we're going to see a Seth Rollins versus Triple H at WrestleMania. Now that he's injured, that is very likely not going to happen. That means Triple H needs an opponent at WrestleMania. Now the choices are endless. But you got to remember, Triple H is going to have to fight a big name superstar, of course. So let's think about this. Orton wins the Rumble. It looks apparent we see John Cena versus randy orton at wrestlemania big blockbuster match makes a lot of sense very likely actually like i said it'd be a blockbuster match we haven't seen in a long time now we flash forward a little bit to elimination chamber and they gave bray wyatt the wwe championship and it just appears they may not have actually had that planned in the first place before rollins got injured of course because now they're having randy orton back out of the title match to remain loyal to bray and remember, Orton won the Rumble before Seth Rollins got injured. Now, there's two ways you can look at this, though. One being, they're just trying to confuse the WWE Universe and make the match actually happen between Orton and Bray Wyatt. Or two, they have full intentions of Cena v. Orton at Mania, and because Rollins got injured after Orton won the Rumble, causing this mishap. So, where does that leave us? Orton, Cena, Triple H, Undertaker, all of them, no matches yet at WrestleMania. And I bring, again, I bring it up with Triple H not having an opponent. That means you'd have to assume he faces one of these guys, some of the biggest names. We already know Goldberg and Brock Lesnar are facing each other. That leaves a slew of guys, these four guys right here. Now, Triple H versus Undertaker has already taken place multiple times at WrestleMania, if you remember him trying to beat that streak a couple times. And that'd lead you to believe... He has to fight Cena or Orton, right? Because you don't think they're going to do that match for the third time. I think WWE Fastlane will definitely clear some things up because I'm anticipating some sort of interference, beat down, something to go down featuring one of these superstars that's going to clear up a rivalry come WrestleMania time. Well, what if WWE had plans of giving the title to Seth Rollins at Fastlane? Again, he was injured, thus giving Triple H... A reason to fight him at WrestleMania because, you know, remember he was trying to get Triple H to fight him this entire time. And if Seth Rollins defeated Kevin Owens at Fastlane, and clearly Triple H has some sort of thing for Kevin Owens, that would make him want to avenge Kevin Owens by trying to beat Seth Rollins for that title back. But now that Rollins is gone, they need a legit new idea for the WWE Universal Championship match come WrestleMania. This is probably really, really confusing to you at this point, but which is great. It means WWE is very unpredictable right now, and it just makes it that much more interesting to watch. But let's throw this together real quick. Because of one little injury, I think we go from seeing Orton v. Cena, Triple H v. Rollins, and yes, Undertaker vs. Reigns, to seeing Cena v. Undertaker in a longly anticipated match, Reigns vs. Owens, because somebody needs to contend for that title, can't see a Goldberg vs. Brock Lesnar title match at WrestleMania because neither one of them is probably going to be around after WrestleMania. And Orton vs. AJ Styles. Yes, I said it. AJ Styles. Why AJ? Because if you remember back on SmackDown, Orton's buddy got put through a table, Bray Wyatt that is, by AJ Styles. And it makes you think, well, he's family with the guy. And it makes you think because they're great allies, Orton and Bray Wyatt, if AJ Styles doesn't become number one contender for the title, it makes you think maybe Orton and AJ Styles start a little rivalry because of what he did to Bray Wyatt. And he's pretty much, you heard Wyatt, you heard Orton kind of deal because they're considered family. And maybe we see some sort of match between them at WrestleMania. Now that could be completely wrong. We may see Styles v. Owens at Mania. But I do think that the matches that will happen are completely up in the air at this point because of the Rollins injury. I think some of these got, some of these matches seem very predictable when Rollins was around, but now that they're he's gone, all of a sudden you see all these random change of events, really unexpected. Normally, this time of the year, we're seeing not random change of events, but we're seeing this slow, slow buildup to people getting into these matches. But instead of seeing this real slow buildup, we're seeing these unique change of events 
which leads you to believe they had something else in mind. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about it as well. Did you think any of this was already planned? Do you think they're just trying to mix it up for one time and it's actually making it a little bit more interesting? Because of this Rollins injury, it really did affect how WrestleMania will play out. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.